A news conference happening right now about a suspicious device found in Grand Rapids. This is GRPD Sergeant Dan Adams. Let's listen in. Uh, it's really about making sure to take care of the device and then investigators with the detective unit will then follow up and try to look at, uh, you know, access, motive and things like that and, and, and exactly what possible reasoning it would be. Any special tools that you're using, any robotics or anything like that? Uh, I don't think that the bomb squads use any robotics at this time. They'd use uh, handheld um, x-rays to be able to x-ray and look inside the device and see what it is that they're dealing with. I think at this point, that's the extent of what they used. Based on what they find out, we'll determine what tools they want to use from there. And you said as of right now, there's no harm to the community, but you recommend staying at home, correct? Yes, as you can see, we've got the police tape up, blocking off the area, asking the residents in the immediate adjacent houses to probably to stay inside. Um, if they want to leave, we can definitely make sure that they get out safely um, and move in the correct uh, direction away from the suspect device. Um, but as uh, the members of the bomb squad advised me, it seems to be a smaller uh, device. That's why you can see some of the officers standing not too far away. Um, if it were very concerning, we would expand that perimeter much, much farther. Is it on a porch area? Is that correct? Or I haven't been around to actually see where it is, but I believe it's on some type of uh, back porch deck, something like that, but I haven't actually been up to it. It's on the back side, is that what you're saying? I believe it's at the back side, yep. And when did you guys get an alert of this, and when did you get notified? Uh, I just got notified approximately a half hour ago. I'm not sure how long the officers here have actually been on scene, but I don't think it was very long. Um, both bomb squad personnel were already on duty, so they were able to respond pretty quickly. Did you say it was a homeowner or a person that was working on the house? I believe it's like some type of contractor or someone who's working on the house. So that's what we're hearing about, a small sus suspicious device found in southeast Grand Rapids, Highland, and Cass. Yeah, it sounded like it was in the back of someone's house. They do have the area cordoned off, so they're not completely safe yet, but they do say it's safe enough where people can get out with an escort, but they certainly don't want anyone going near that object. They don't know what it is just yet. And we will have more as we learn online and tonight at 11 o'clock. Stay with us.